Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to deliver Google Drive file on WooCommerce sale. So I am an owner of a business in which I sell ebooks and online courses on different topics to my students. I manage the sale of my products with the help of WooCommerce store. So here my objective is that, that as soon as a new order is going to be placed by my customers with the help of WooCommerce, they go to purchase the ebook. Automatically after the purchase is completed, an ebook is going to be forwarded to them which I've uploaded in my Google Drive. That file is going to be forwarded towards that customer. Now doing this manually, sending the file manually after each and every order has been placed is very time consuming. So what I did was I simply automated this entire process with the help of Pabli connect and I've created the automation between WooCommerce and Google Drive. So if you want to learn about this amazing automation then let me take you all to my screen. Welcome to my screen in this video we're going to learn how to deliver Google Drive file on WooCommerce sale. As an owner of a business I sell different online courses in my business to students. I sell ebooks and supplementary materials directly through my WooCommerce store. One of the challenges I faced is by manually sending files to customers after each purchase, which was both time consuming and prone to delays. To streamline this process, I integrated WooCommerce with Google Drive using Pabli Connect. Now, whenever a customer makes a purchase, an automated system sends them the email containing the ebook that they have purchased with the help of WooCommerce, which has been stored in my Google Drive. This setup has been a game changer for my business, providing a seamless hand of solution for delivering digital products to my customers. And we are going to be creating this amazing automation with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli Connect, that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website, we need to sign in to our Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign in to my Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you can see the All Pabli apps window in front of you, in which you can see the applications of Pabli, from which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on Access Now. Then Pabli Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on the top right corner button right over here that says Create Workflow. A dialog box is then going to appear in front of you which is asking for the workflow name and for us to select a folder. So for the name of my workflow, I'm going to give it as How to Deliver Google Drive File on WooCommerce Sale. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow. Okay. After that, it is asking for us to select a folder. So on the left side of my screen, you can see I've created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account from which I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. For that, click on this drop down. So these are the folders from which I'm going to select WooCommerce Automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After giving a name to our workflow and selecting the folder, let's click on Create in order to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of how to deliver Google Drive file on WooCommerce sale and there are two windows in front of you. One over here says trigger, other says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts. So over here trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means that action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. Firstly, we're going to set up our trigger step. And for the trigger application, what we are going to do is we are going to select it as WooCommerce. As with the help of WooCommerce, I am selling the ebooks and the courses to my students. I have a WooCommerce store, okay? And I want that it, as soon as a new purchase of the ebook is going to be done with the help of WooCommerce, automatically Public Connect should capture the response of that, okay? So for that is why for the trigger application, I've selected it as WooCommerce. And then for the trigger event over here, I'm going to select it as New Order Created. As whenever a new order is going to be created with the help of WooCommerce by my customers, automatically Public Connect is going to capture the response of that. After selecting the trigger application and the event, you can see that Pabli Connect has provided us with a webhook URL. With the help of this unique webhook URL, we are going to create a connection between WooCommerce and Pabli Connect by following the steps given here below in the help desk. So what I'm going to do is firstly, I'm going to copy this URL from here. After copying the URL, we are going to log in to our WooCommerce account. So this is my WooCommerce account as you can see right over here and this is the product 
product that I'm selling, that is the ebook that I'm selling to my customers. Okay, I want that. That as soon as the customers are going to purchase this ebook with the help of WooCommerce, as the purchase is done, automatically to them or then email the file from my Google Drive should be forwarded the ebook file. Okay, so that is why we are going to connect our WooCommerce account to Public Connect so that whenever a new order is going to be created, automatically Public Connect should capture the response of that. Okay, so now to connect WooCommerce to Public Connect from the left side of the panel under WooCommerce, click on the settings option right over here. As I'm going to do that, you will be landed towards the settings page of your WooCommerce account. From the bar right over here, go to the advanced option. After coming to the advanced option, under page setup, you can see it says webhooks. Click on it. As you're going to do that, webhooks page is then going to appear in front of you. Over here next to webhooks, it says add webhook. Click on it. Now we're going to create a new webhook. For the name of the webhook over here, I'm going to give it as new order place. So this is the name that I want to give to my webhook. For the status, I'm going to select it as active. And for the topic over here, from the topic, I'm going to select it as order created. As in my public init workflow, I want to capture the response of the new order being created. So that is why for the topic over here, I've selected it as order created. For the delivery URL, I'm going to paste the webhook URL that public init has provided us. And for the secret over here, I'm going to write in a dummy secret. Okay. For the API version, I'm going to select the API version. After filling in all the required details, I'm going to click on the save webhook button right over here. As I've done that, it says webhook updated successfully. That means the webhook has now been saved. I'm going to go back to the advanced option and then to my webhooks page. You can see a new webhook in the name of new order place has been created in my WooCommerce account. As the webhook has now been successfully created in my WooCommerce account, I'm going to open my workflow and scroll down and you can see right over here we've received the response of the webhook ID. This webhook ID shows that the webhook has now been successfully added to my WooCommerce account. Okay, But in place of this webhook ID, I want to capture the response of the new order being created. So that is why for that I'm going to click on this recapture webhook response button and on yes right over here. As I'm going to do that over here, it is saying waiting for webhook response. So now what we are going to do is we are going to check whether WooCommerce is connected to Public Connect or not. In order to do that, what we are going to do is we are going to create a test order in our WooCommerce account of the product that we have created. And we are going to check whether Public Connect captures the response of the new order being created or not. And for that, what we are going to do is I'm going to log into my WooCommerce account. So this is the product of the ebook that I'm selling with the help of WooCommerce as you can see right over here and I want that as soon as the purchase of this ebook is going to be done with the help of WooCommerce by my customers automatically public and it should capture the response of that right over here. So what we are going to do is in order to purchase due to your test purchase I'm going to click on this link right over here open it in a new tab. So you can see right over here, this is the product that I'm selling the ebook. Okay. So now we're going to purchase this ebook for that. Click on add to card option right over here. As I'm going to do that, I'm going to proceed to checkout. As I'm going to do that right over here, it is asking for the details, the billing details. Firstly, it is asking for the first name. So for the first name over here, I'm going to write it as test. For the last name over here, I'm going to write it as smart five. For the company over here, I'm going to write it as Pabli. Okay. For the country over here, I'm going to select the country as India. For the address over here, I'm going to write it as 01 Old Street. For the city over here, I'm going to write it as Indore. For the state over here, I'm going to select it as Madhya Pradesh. For the zip code over here, I'm going to write in a dummy zip code. And for the phone number over here, I'm going to write in a dummy mobile number. Okay. For the email over here, I'm going to write it as testmart5 at the rate pablitudes.com okay after filling in all the required details i'm going to click on this place order button but before that you can see right over here for the payment method i have selected as cash on delivery as in my woocommerce account i cannot add a payment gateway right over here okay but for your business, you might have added the payment gateway like the card method or the UPI method right over here. So whenever the payment is going to be done by your customers while purchasing the ebook, over here in place of the cash on delivery, you are going to capture the response of the new order being created in place whenever the payment is going to be completely done. Okay, I'm going to place the order right now and we are going to receive the payment pending because as the process over here comes as cash on delivery, pay with cash upon delivery that is why the order is going to be completely done right over here okay but in your case you will receive the response whenever the payment is going to be done by your customers with the help of WooCommerce okay I'm going to place the order I'm going to create a new order right over here as I've done that, it says, thank you, your order has been received. Over here, as the order is created, I'm going to open my workflow and scroll down. Over here, I'm going to wait for a few seconds. 
After waiting for few seconds, you can see we have received a response right over here. Let us tally the response. I'm going to scroll down. Over here for the status comes as processing. But as I've already told you that in my WooCommerce account, I have added the payment method as cash on delivery. But if you have added the payment method of the online payment, then the status is going to come over here as completed. So that whenever the payment is going to be completed while placing the order by our customers, then only the ebook is going to be forwarded to them, okay? But in my case, it's on cash on delivery. That is why the status coming over here comes as processing, okay? So let us move forward over here. For the display name comes as the name that the order is placed for. That is Mastering Automation and AI, a comprehensive guide of boosting productivity and efficiency, okay? Over here for the states comes as Madhya Pradesh for a postal code, a dummy postal code. First name as test, last name as smart, country as India, company as Pabli, city as Indore, as you can see right away address as 10 old street for the payment url we have received the payment url as you can see right over here the method comes over here as cash on delivery with the order key and all the other details as you can see right over here if i'm going to scroll down the total amount comes over here as 450 you can see right over here with the name of the product that is purchased you can see right over here with all the other details. So this means that WooCommerce is now connected to Pabli Connect and a trigger setup is done. Now, whenever a new order is going to be created with the help of WooCommerce, a purchase is going to be done by my customers with the help of WooCommerce for my ebook, automatically Pabli Connect is going to capture the response of that, okay? Now what I want is, I want that this workflow should only be executed whenever the purchase of the product mastering automation and AI a comprehensive guide of boosting productivity and efficiency is been purchased okay whenever a new order of any product that I've created in my WooCommerce account is going to be purchased by my customers public unit is going to capture the response of each and every product being purchased the order being created but in this workflow I want to send an ebook whenever the purchase of this specific product is going to be done now in order to do that we're going to set up our action step and for the action application i'm going to select as filter by pabli as with the help of filter by pabli we can filter out the values according to our requirement for the action event i'm going to select as filter values and then i'm going to click on this connect button as i'm going to do that it is asking you to select the label the filter type and the value for the label i'm going to select the product name okay i'm going to search for the name of my product so in my previous response, I have received the name of my product. You can see right over here, this is the name of my product. I want that it, whenever the name of the product, right over here, this is the name of the product, is going to be equal to the name of the product. I'm going to copy the name from here. I'm going to copy it and paste it right over here. I want that it whenever the name of the product that has been purchased with the help of WooCommerce is going to be equal to this Mastering Automation and AI Comprehensive Guide of Boosting Productivity and Efficiency, then only this workflow should be executed after the step right over here, okay? So I'm going to click on the Save and Send Test Request button right over here. And you can see over here the status comes as success and the message comes as condition is true. Now, whenever the purchase of this product, Mastering Automation and AI is going to be done with the help of WooCommerce, then only this workflow is going to be executed after this step as we have added the filter right over here, okay? So now what I want is that as soon as the order is going to be created with the help of WooCommerce, we are going to receive the payment the order is completed by a customer we want to send them the ebook that we have stored in our google drive on their gmail account as an email so what we're going to do is for that we're going to set up our action step we're going to add another action step to this workflow and for the action application over here i'm going to select it as google drive as in my google drive i've stored the ebook that i want to send to my customers who have done the purchase with the help of WooCommerce, I want to send this ebook right away that I've stored in my Google Drive. Okay, this is an accessible ebook which is shareable to everyone. Okay, I want to send this ebook to my customers. So that is for the action application I've selected as Google Drive. And for the action event, I'm going to share, select it as share a file. Okay, so now we're going to share a file to the customer who've done the purchase with the help of WooCommerce. And then I'm going to click on this connect button. A new window is going to appear in front of you on which you can add your connection or else you can select the existing connection after that we're going to click on sign in with google as i'm going to do that a new window is then going to appear in front of you which is asking for a permission so i'm going to click on this allow button as the c process my data is perfectly saved with Pabli connect so i'm going to click on this allow button as you can see that we successfully authorized google drive to Pabli connect after authorizing it is asking for you to select a file id the file that we want to share to our customers who have done the purchase with the help of woocommerce so i've created a file in the name of mastering automation and ai comprehensive guide of boosting productivity and efficiency.p 
PDF. So this is the file right over here. So what I'm going to do is for the file over here, I'm going to select the file from the given drop down as I want to share this file to the customers who have done the purchase with the help of WooCommerce. Okay. After that, it is asking for the email on which email address do we want to give the access of this file right over here. Okay. As I want to give the access of this file to the person after the purchase using WooCommerce. So for doing that, for the data of the email, we are going to map the data. Mapping means inserting data from the previous step. So we're going to insert the data from the previous step of this workflow. And how mapping works is that as soon as I'm going to click on this field, you can see this is the previous step of this workflow. And as I'm going to click on it, this was the same response that was captured in our previous step. As over here, it is asking for the email to whom we want to give the access of this file right over here. So for the email, in my previous response, I'm going to search for the email of the person who have done the purchase. So you can see right away, this is the email of the customer who have done the purchase with the help of WooCommerce. So from my previous response, I'm going to select the data of the email, okay? As I've selected the data from my previous response, the data is mapped. And as I map the data, the data has now become dynamic. That means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step, automatically the new data is going to be updated in place of this mapped data. Okay. After that, it is asking for the role, the role of the person who have the access of this file right over here. We are given the access, the role of that person. For the role, I'm going to select a scan view as the person who have done the purchase can just view the file that I've created. Okay. That I've added in my Google Drive. After filling in all the required details, I'm going to click on the save and send test request button. As I've done that, you can see right over here, we have received a response, which is a positive response. So now I'm going to open my Gmail account and I'm going to check whether I have received the access of the file, the ebook or not. For that, I'm going to open my Gmail account. And yes, you can see right over here on my Gmail account, I have received the access of the file that is Mastering Automation and AI, a comprehensive guide of boosting productivity and efficiency. If I'm going to open this file right over here, you can see this is the same file that we have uploaded in our Google Drive. You can see right over here has been forwarded to the customer who have done the purchase with the help of WooCommerce. So this means that we fully created an automation between WooCommerce and Google Drive with the help of Pabli Connect. So now to sum up till now, what we have done, I am an owner of a business in which I sell different online courses to my students. So here my objective is that it, as soon as a purchase of the ebook is going to be done by my customers with the help of WooCommerce, automatically the customer have done the purchase, I want to share the ebook from my Google Drive file that I've uploaded. So for that, we've created this amazing automation between WooCommerce and Google Drive with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment on if you have any questions or doubts, and please share this video. Not just with these applications, you can create automation with the help of Pabli Connect between multiple applications. If you have any doubts, you can send us email on support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any queries, you can ask your queries on forum.pabli.com. If you have any queries regarding the pricing of Pabli Connect, then you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions and doubts, and please share this video. And thank you for watching.